If I take a hundred of my patients that are having insomnia and I ask them, what is the time you most often see on the clock? They always say around 3 a.m. 2.55, 3.01, 3.03. So what is it with the 3 a.m. wake up that so many people are having? Within the field of traditional Chinese medicine, there's a very specific cause that I thought I would share today. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, author of the health book, Master of the Day, and doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine. So before we jump into this video, there are two very important links below the video. The first is for a free guide I've put together, four daily rituals that could potentially help you add years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. And the second is if you'd like to learn about seeing me and my patient practice in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine, you can contact my private practice right below this video. Within the field of traditional Chinese medicine, there's something called the organ clock. Now basically within the organ clock, there is a two hour block dedicated to each organ function throughout the day. So let's say stomach, small intestine, spleen, kidney, gallbladder, etc. But when it comes to 3 a.m., this is the transition from the liver time to the lung time. Now, this may not seem to make any more sense <laughs> thus far, but within this field, the liver is one of the organs that bears the brunt of a certain kind of stress. And one of the ways we know that is that when our patients come in and we feel the radial artery for pulse diagnosis, very often they will have either a tight pulse, a wiry pulse, or a fine wiry pulse. And this tension that's manifesting in the pulse is a mirror of the tension in the nervous system. The mirror of people living in a state of constant sympathetic dominance where stress hormones are running their life. Now, I realize this is no surprise to many of us in 2023 that we feel stress more often and we feel tension more often and we feel more pressure more often but it shows up in the pulse as well. And these tight pulses are often pulses of just nervous system tension, in my opinion, and chronic stress hormones. So we utilize acupuncture, herbal formulas, moxa, physical therapies, all kinds of interventions to help relieve the tension in this pulse. But the tension is really a 3D manifestation into the pulse of this sort of pace of life, right? And this sort of quality that sometimes we're consciously aware of it because we feel it, Sometimes the body feels it, the body's keeping the score, but our mind is not aware that we are actually feeling that bad. Nonetheless, this tension is sometimes called liver chi stagnation. So liver chi, it's very interesting. You know, back in the day, typically it was women who were called hypochondriacs, were complaining of a stuffy sensation in their chest, especially in the ribs. Now, this area, the hypochondrial below the rib side, became synonymous with this idea of a woman being basically a hypochondriac, making up these fake sort of uh, illnesses. But what's interesting is that within traditional Chinese medicine, fullness in the ribs, distension, pressure in the ribs, is a real sensation. It is not, in, it is not imagined. It is a real subjective sensation of diagnostic of liver chi stagnation, which is basically kind of like an emotional pressure, an emotional stagnation, a stress response in the body. That can be physical, it can be emotional, it can be nervous system. But we utilize formulas to treat this. Now, the 3 a.m. time is one of the most common times people wake up when they have gallbladder, liver, and triple warmer disorders within TCM. Gallbladder, liver, most common issue that I see is upper GI reflux. People are often waking up at 3 a.m. The other being the sanjiao. The sanjiao, the triple warmer, complicated to translate because it doesn't translate to a physical organ, is more functional. Some people say it's the lymphatic system. Some people say it's the hollow spaces of the body, whether it's the bowels. You know, some people get gas pains in the, in the chest that's coming from the intestines, that sort of thing. But these three organs are most commonly the ones that we treat to relieve the 3 a.m. wake-up call. Now, there are a number of ways you can treat this chi stagnation. If the chi stagnation is due to stress, in my opinion, the best way to relieve this is not through meditation, it's through physical exercise. Because physical exercise not only will help regulate the systemic stress response, it increases blood flow, increases the movement of lymph in your body, and has so many other auxiliary benefits that will outperform meditation for the modern person and will result in people feeling more calm if it's not overdone. Now, if this kind of chi stagnation is due to digestion, faulty digestion, like I said, upper GI reflux is one of the main causes I see of people who have this 3 a.m. wake up. They have a chronic upper GI issue. If that is the case, and this is not, you know, obviously environmental noise can wake people up, but if their body wakes them up at 3 a.m., it is often an issue with the liver, gallbladder, and the triple warmer. So the secondary cause, if it's digestive, 
is eating healthier meals, not overeating, especially later at night, eating earlier in the night. And for some people, it's a blood sugar issue. So eating a healthier meal that's protein and fat and is more Mediterranean in nature will benefit them as opposed to what they're currently eating. So chi stagnation due to stress, more exercise. Chi stagnation due to general GI upset is really staying away from alcohol, eating earlier, eating a smaller, healthier meal. So that is you know, something that is eminently relevant. I see lots of people waking up at three. It's very easy to treat with compounded formulas from TCM. And most often I just utilize uh, my treatments as opposed to making them extensively change their life. So that is why the 3 a.m. It's not uh, some weird demon or poltergeist. It is, there's something physiologically going on there and it's something that is eminently treatable with TCM. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Check out the links below the video and I'll see you soon.